But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, or other versions said patience, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such, there is no law. And someone say amen. These are the fruit of the Holy Spirit. You don't need the law if you know if you have the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yeah. So, uh, and they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with affection and lust. So let's say amen for that. Amen. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Let us not be desirous of vain glory, provoking one another and being one another. This is the big problem of every believer, of most believers, and I don't mean not believers, but other people, and being one another. And being. That is the, uh, originally from Lucifer. Lucifer and be God. Amen? He wants to be God also. He wants to to, uh, to overtake the throne of God because he is envy. He is being glorified by, by millions of angels. He is being glorified with, with, uh, in the heavenly host, our God. So Lucifer wants to be glorified, uh, overtaking God. And then, so the sin of Lucifer is the pride. Envying is a form of pride. That's what I'm saying. Amen. Today I'm going to talk about patience. Everyone say patience. Patience. patience, one of the fruits of the Holy Spirit is patience. Hallelujah. Patience. Uh, as we can see, in the, one of the fruits of the Holy Spirit is patience. patience. A lot of us have no patience. We, we have no patience at home. We have no patience in the hospital. We have no patience in the car. We have no patience in the road. We have no patience of anything, everything. We have no patience with our vote. We have no patience in studying. They don't want to study because they have no patience. They, a lot of us have no patience, you know. Uh, we, we just, we just, uh, this what you call, I did it my way. Your way, not the way of God. I did it my way. We have no patience whatsoever. The only thing that you should not have patience is the devil. Amen? You do not have no patience with the devil because it's safe in... It says in Ephesians 4, verse 27, give no place to the devil. Amen? So if you if you have no, give no place to the devil, means that you, you're not going to allow him to come into your life, to come into your way. You have to rebuke him immediately. You have to, you have to force him. You have to evict him forcefully. Amen. Because that's how the devil is, that you're not going to have patience with him. But for us, our way of life, our way of thinking on how we, we govern our life and how to and how to associate with others and how to and to hold our life, our goals, we need to have patience. That's what I'm saying next. Patience is one of the keys. Is one of the key of, of one of the keys. Patience is one of the key to for for goals in life, for good goals. If you look at the if, if you look at the, let's go to, uh, let's do, uh, one, of, one of the ones that has no patience is Sarah. And then Sarah, Mitch, Pastor mentioned that last week. Sarah, uh, uh, Sarah and Abraham wanted to have a baby. Sarah brought the baby. But because she's so impatient, she deceived Abraham to go and lay down to your, to your maid.
choose the way where the devil wants you to go. Yeah. You choose the path of the devil instead of the plan of God that he already gave to you. Yeah. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. Yeah. Yeah. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. The babies are fearfully and wonderfully made. So God already planned their life. It's step one, it's step two, it's step three until they reach a good success. But the problem is God gave us also the free will to choose which one is right and which one is wrong. Yeah. So if you choose the path of the devil, that's where you're gonna you're gonna end up with. There's that is not a God of force. Yeah. I plan this for you. I want you to be an engineer, but you wanna be that you wanna be a homeless. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You choose the way. Yeah, I, I plan. I plan that you're gonna be a doctor, but you wanna be a gang member. Yeah. Amen. Because it's planned already. But because our choose, our freedom of uh, our liberty to choose which one is right and what is wrong. Can yeah. someone say amen? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The incident happened on First Samuel. If, if we go, let's go to First Samuel 10, verse 18. This is a Samuel. Samuel is is a prophet, and Samuel is chosen by God. And so, you know, so reigned on a, reign on a, on his kingdom for about 40 years. He was only 30 years old when he was king, King Saul. But this is the, this is the instruction of Samuel to Saul. Uh, first, uh, first Samuel 10, uh, 10 verse 18. If you there, say amen. First, first Samuel chapter 10, sir, verse, verse 18. This is the instruction of Samuel to King Saul. First Samuel chapter 10, verse 18. And said unto the children of uh, I, I think I'm uh, first Samuel, what I mean is 10 verse 8. 10 verse 8. Thank you, Jesus. This is Samuel said to King Saul. Oh, well, no. okay. This is what Samuel said to King Saul. Thou shalt go down before me to Gilgal. Amen? Right. And behold, I will come down unto thee to offer burnt sufferings and sacrifice of peace offering seven days thou shalt carry till I come to thee and show thee what thou shalt do. And then, so Israel is in trouble. They're being, they're being uh, attacked by the Palestine or anything. But, but Samuel said to King Saul, stay in there, don't leave. And someone say amen. Do not leave because I will go there. I will be with you to do burnt of peace, of peace offering. We will do burnt peace offering. Wait for seven days. He specifically told the soul, the king soul, wait for seven days. And then that's all I say now. But the, 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 but the acts of the apostle, the apostle, God told them, do not leave Jerusalem until the Holy Ghost will come unto you. That's all I say now. The, the apostle did not leave. They followed instruction of God. And they received the Holy Ghost on the on Acts 1. And the day of Pentecost, they all received the Holy Ghost. That's all I say, man. But here in Samuel, he, he instructed Saul, don't do, do I'll meet you there, I will do the burnt offerings together. But what what King Saul said to make the short story to us, King Saul did not follow Samuel. We all know that. That's the one say man. And he said, and if you look at first Sam, uh, first Samuel chapter 13, verse 11, let's read that. He did not follow Samuel, but it says, before seven days come, Samuel said seven days, he did the burnt offering because he was pressured. He has no patience. <laughs> That's all I say next. He don't have no patience. He's pressured. He saw his men cutting it and bothering him. So he has to do his own way. I did it my way. Amen? So no, look at look at what Samuel said. There's a few, there's a few gap only. I don't know if it's a day or hours. Samuel appeared to King Saul. And this is what Samuel said, verse 11. Verse Samuel chapter 13, verse 11. 
How long will forget me, Lord? How long are you going to forget me, Lord? Amen? Forever? Forever he asked that question. So there's nothing wrong of asking questions of God. Amen? Amen? How long will I have to suffer this, Lord? How long are you going to fix my marriage, Lord? How long are you going to let me suffer with this kind of sickness, Lord? Yeah. Because they did ask. They did, how long will thou forgive me, Lord? I think God forgotten him, right? Forever? How long will thou hide thy face from me? So David said, why are you hiding your face from me? I need you. Why? Amen. He has to play. Verse 2. How long shall I take the counsel of my soul, having sorrow in my heart daily? How long shall my enemy be insulted over me? How long are you going to stop my enemy of, uh, attacking me? And someone say, man, there's always there. So uh, David asking questions to God, the man after God's own heart. He's asking questions himself to God. How long will I suffer? I think you're not listening to me. And then, and, and verse 3, Consider and hear me, O Lord my God. Light in my eyes, let I sleep and sleep of death. Consider me or else I'll die. Yeah. That's what he said. Consider me, Lord, or else I die. And verse 4, uh, but, uh, verse 5, But I have trusted in your mercy. Amen. Jesus is a person. So what is this suffering that 
mistakes. We rush things. We rush, 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 rush. We, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. We don't go so we done. And later on, we fail. Later on, we fail. Because we are very impatient. And some, and someone say amen. Amen. Uh, if we go to, to Psalm 37, as we did, let's do some, add three verses. Uh, Psalm 37, verse 7 to 9. Thank you, Lord. Psalm 37, verse 7 to 9. It says, learn to do this now. Rest in the Lord. Yeah. And rest in the Lord. Rest in the Lord. And wait patiently for him. And wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Okay, so cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. Many times when you, we are impatient, we are angry. Amen? Right. When you're impatient, you are angry. You are, you are drove by your emotions being anger. But, the, but it says here that, that, that but rest in the Lord. And rest in the Lord. Rest in the Lord. Rest in the Lord. And, and give it everything to God. Give it everything to God. Rest in the Lord. Wait. Wait unto the Lord. So don't just, don't just do any kind of action without consulting him. Like I said, the only one that we're going to be impatient is the devil. We don't give place to the devil. We are impatient with that. We are very impatient. We don't, we don't tolerate evil activity or evil suggestion. Yeah, come on. Come on. Say amen. Amen. Look at 2 Peter 3, verse 9. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 2 Peter 3, verse 9. 2 Peter verse 3, verse 9. This is the character of God. 2 Peter. Why is, I let you, uh, someone asked me, why we can, you can say, sister, that Jesus is coming soon, Jesus is coming soon, and then you ridicule that He's not coming. What are you talking about? Rapture is not true. They didn't even believe in rapture. But look at 2 Peter 3, verse 9 say. 2 Peter 3, verse 9 say. Thank you, Lord. Lord, so, not slack concerning his promises. Amen. As some men, as some men shall slack, mm -hmm. but in long suffering to us were, mm -hmm. not willing that any should bury, but that all should come to the not willing that all should perish, but all will come into repentance. That's what I'm saying. What there is a delay of this coming. We want everyone to, to be saved. Yes, That's what I'm saying. He said that he is not in slack. He is not in promise. And some men come with slackness. Some men come back in long suffering to us, Lord. Everyone say amen. He is patient to us, Lord.